Like all species, fish need habitat that provides them with food, shelter, and a safe place to raise their young. When cottagers remove natural structure, like fallen trees and logs from the water for docks and swimming areas, they are removing fish habitat. One way to enhance the habitat is by providing alternate structure to the lake. Dalhousie Lake is one of those lakes that lacks underwater structure. So in 2014, a number of organizations got together to do something about it. Before starting the project, we met with lake residents and then obtained all required government permits. Next, we mapped suitable sites on the lake for placing the brush bundles. Drop sites should have a water depth of at least 12 feet and allow enough clearance for boaters. They also need to be close to islands, shoals, or underdeveloped shorelines where fish would be found naturally. 24 suitable sites were identified. By mid-August, we were ready. Making large brush bundles that could easily be transported was challenging. Having a bobcat on hand and lots of volunteers helped. Our bundles were 10 to 12 feet long and 4 to 5 feet wide. The plan was to submerge two bundles per drop site. The best way of tying them was to lay three lengths of rope on the ground before placing the brush on top. By making a loop at one end of each of the three ropes and pulling the other end through, we were able to winch the bundles together tightly. For sinking and anchoring the bundles, we decided to use cement blocks. We decided to try both deciduous and coniferous brush in making the bundles. Conifers, like old Christmas trees, worked particularly well. We found them easier to work with and they provide excellent underwater structure. Once we had enough bundles for a load, we transported them to the boat launch at Dalhousie Lake. There, volunteers loaded them onto a large pontoon boat that Hydro One generously donated for the day. When choosing the loading site, we had made sure there would be enough water depth at the launch ramp to facilitate the transfer of bundles to the boat. The cement blocks and extra rope were also brought on board. We located each of the predetermined drop sites on the lake using a GPS. Then, using the depth sounder, we rechecked the water depth around the area to make sure it was still a good place for submerging the bundles. Once we had agreed on the exact location, we recorded the revised GPS coordinates on our map. Before dropping each of the bundles overboard, we attached the cement blocks. Due to the size of the bundles, we needed two to four blocks for each bundle. Next time, we'll make the bundles smaller. This would make them easier to handle and also easier to sink to the lake bottom.
we managed to do 15 sites that day, but it was a long day. Now, it's up to the fish. <laughs>